Whose best place? One afternoon, Piglet and Tigger were exploring in the Hundred Acre Wood. They came upon some trees at the edge of the clearing. Tigger, cried Piglet, jump up and down. Wouldn't this be the best place to play? Yes, indeed, shouted Tigger, bouncing up a nearby tree. No, Tigger, said Piglet, pointing in those branch birch trees over there. Say, girl, for popping up something. Did someone say something about a best place? I've just found the best place to work. Rabbit, Pooh and Eeyore had also heard Piglet calling. They all came running to see what was so exciting. Just as they arrived, Tigger, who was trying to bounce from one branch to branch, tripped, tumbled out of the tree, crashed. Everyone ended up in a heap. As they began to untangle themselves, Piglet said breathlessly, Come, look at my new best place to play. After that, we can visit my best place for gardening, Rabbit said. Well, my best place, announced Tigger, is everywhere I can bounce. Everywhere, because everywhere is the best place to bounce. I have a best place for thistles, he all began. Oh dear, Pooh said sadly. What's wrong? You ask, why do you look so sad? Well, um, said Pooh, I'm sad because everyone has a best place but me. You can use our best places, Pooh boy, explained Tigger. Thank you, Tigger, said Pooh, but I would rather have my own best place than I could share it with you too. Come Pooh, said Piglet, let's go share our best places. Yippee, cried Tiger, Tigger bouncing down the path. We'll have lots of fun, you'll see. I suppose I'll give it a try, mumbled Eeyore. I may even have a little fun too. Are you coming, Pooh? Not just now, Pooh asked, answered. I do believe I can go and find my own best place. Goodbye, everyone. And he set off, going the other way. Pooh was so excited to find a best place that he didn't pay any attention to where he was going. He made up a song instead. Oh, my name is Pooh and I'll soon have a place that I, only I, discovered by myself. Then it will be for everyone a place to share and have some fun. Suddenly Pooh saw a little pond in front of him with some stepping stones in the water. This could be a fun place, thought Pooh. I wonder where these go to. One, two, three, counted Pooh out loud as he stepped on each stone. Four, Pooh landed in the water. Hmm. It appears that the last stone wasn't really a stone, chuckled Pooh. It was a turtle. Silly me. Pooh looked around him. Where am I anyway? He asked himself. Suddenly he felt just a tiny bit scared. And how do I get home? He wondered. Pooh climbed out of the pond, walked on looking for something that he might have seen before. Pooh came to an entrance of a cave. Have I seen this cave before? We did play in a cave once, he thought. Maybe this is the same one. He peered in. Hello, cried Pooh. Anyone home? He was glad to hear a friendly voice answer back. 
Hello? Anyone home? And then Pooh realised he was hearing his own voice coming back as an echo. Oh, bother, he said. Oh, bother, said the echo. Pooh heard a fluttering sound. He turned round and saw many bats flying from the back of the cave. This is definitely the wrong cave, said Pooh. Definitely the wrong cave, agreed the echo. Pooh left the cave in a hurry and walked on. He was getting so worried about finding his way back home that he forgot all about looking for a best place. On his way back to, towards the pond, Pooh saw a tree with a big hole. Inside was a mountain of acorns. Acorns? Pooh cried excitedly. Piglet loves acorns. Maybe this is Piglet's best new best place. Pooh leaned in and cried, Hello! Nobody answered. But the mountain of acorns began to slide and tumble out of the hole. Pooh skidded on the little round nuts and plop! Splash fell down into the water again. Oh, double bother, he said unhappily. Suddenly Pooh noticed a familiar fence. I remember that fence, he shouted with joy. I walked beside it when I was singing. That must be the way to get back. Pooh was so happy to find his way that he skipped all the way singing. Oh, I'll run a race just to see my friends. My very best place is with my hundred acre friends. There's no better place than with my dear, dear friends playing together all day. Oh, there you are, Pooh, said Rabbit. I'm just about to organise a search party to find you. So Rabbit went on. Did you discover a new best place for your own? Well, you see, Pooh answered, at first I was very busy looking for a best place. Then I got too busy looking for the way home. Oh dear, said Piglet. So did you find any place? Well, replied Pooh, I did find four stepping stones and a turtle in a pond, a cave, a tree full of acorns, a hole full of acorns, asked Piglet, his eyes shining. <coughs> a cave? Terrific, cried Tigger. Let's go! We can go, said Pooh, but none of this is my best place. Don't tell me you found some place you'd like even better, said Rabbit. Where could that be, Pooh? asked Piglet. Wherever my friends are, proclaimed Pooh. Ho, 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 me too, Tigger agreed. <coughs>